over to Nichols. The sophomore wins it up at the horn, and he buries it. And he buries it. Carter Nichols buried the three to end the ball game. And sends the Crane Mustangs into the semifinal round, defeating North Douglas in heartbreaking fashion. We like to hunt, fish, and most people in our school, they rope, and pretty much everyone lives on a ranch, so that's what we do. They got a great work ethic here. More than a lot of towns, the bigger cities, these kids have to work. 10,000 square miles, that's the school district, that's what we're tapping into. So we got kids coming from two hours away. I live about 40 minutes away, it's about 35 miles or something like that. Crane is one of the only public boarding schools in the United States. The first year was hard just because I was away from my parents, but then it got nice because I was away from my parents, so. It's the only show in town, right? I mean, it's the front page, it's the back page, it's the sports page. This gymnasium, while small, uh, is bursting at the seams when we play here. One hundred and fifty-nine miles east of Bend lies the town of Crane. Well, town might be a bit of a stretch. Well, it's just a small community, basically. It, it's just uh, a school here and a few houses. It's been described as the tiniest of the tiny Eastern Oregon towns. And that's probably a little more accurate. We run into a lot of people, you know, when we're playing sports, wondering where Crane is. There's not very many people, so you know everyone. If you're just driving through and never been here, you probably really wouldn't think it's much. The people are what makes it really great. Uh, it's in the middle of nowhere, so um, it's small. Everybody knows everybody. For fun, mostly, you just go to the crane store and it's about it, drive around. It's about all we got to do. But within this one-store town lies Crane High School and Elementary School, the proud home of the Crane Mustangs. We've got eight one-room schoolhouses, and along with a, a larger elementary here. That already strong sense of pride grew by leaps and bounds earlier this month, when both the girls' and boys' basketball teams headed to Baker City and each brought home state titles. You always go into it, like we've all watched that movie Hoosiers, right? And that, that's the hope every year. I thought we would be pretty darn good, and there was that shot, um, but didn't really think like, oh, this is ours. I would say after about our fifth game, that light bulb kind of came on. This is a pretty special group. special, something I always dreamed of doing, winning the state title. I don't think I'll ever forget it. It was, it was crazy. It was fun. I still can't process it. It's just something that doesn't come very often in our team, so. It was perfect. I mean, 31-0, we worked hard and everything came together at the right time. The girls' team had been on a tear for quite some time. We've lost one game in three years. But the boys, hadn't won a basketball state title in the school's 101 years of existence. It's been quite a while, never won one here. It was a hell of a season. Two teams, two state titles, still only one store in 10. But that didn't stop the celebration. A 
a K through 12 pep rally was held to honor the kids. And the country kids from Crane got down how only country kids do. The pep rally was followed by a police escorted bus ride from Burns to Crane. And finally, the entire town turned out for a tri-tip dinner banquet to honor their kids, their teams, their town. There's a Montana expression, the smaller the town, the bigger the game. Well, Montana, you may have come up with it, but Crane embodies it. It's like an event everybody comes to, and it's like the main event going on. Everything kind of centers around it a little bit, it feels like. And, you know, you, you see everybody there every time. And The Crane community shows up to watch, right? It's like, hey, last person out of Crane, turn the lights out, because everybody's there. I love it here, and wouldn't trade it for the world. The Hoosiers, they got the movie. But the Mustangs, they got the memories and the titles. And that's plural. Ever since I was a freshman, I just, I wanted a ring and it's all I wanted and it finally happens. Since I was a little boy, right, like, like you dream of that state title, right? And I know these kids as well, um, you know, we've talked about it as a ball club, like, like that's your dream, right? Those are dreams that everybody's got, every best, that's why you play the game, right? And so it means something different to every single kid here, but it's a bond uh, that these Korean kids are going to have for a lifetime. In Crane, Eric Lindstrom, Central Oregon Daily News.